Kitty Fisher, born Catherine Maria Fisher in 1741 in London, emerged as a prominent British courtesan in the 18th century. Her captivating beauty, audacious personality, and carefully crafted public image earned her the distinction of being one of the world's earliest celebrities, who achieved fame not through acting, music, or royalty, but simply for being famous. Kitty Fisher's journey into notoriety began with her introduction to London high society. While some accounts credit Commodore Augustus Keppel with this introduction, others suggest Lieutenant General Anthony George Martin played a role. With an innate talent for self-promotion, she quickly became known for her romantic liaisons with wealthy men. Her fashion sense and appearance were carefully observed and copied by admirers. Her fame extended to satirical broadsheets and portraits painted by the renowned artist Joshua Reynolds, including one in which she portrayed Cleopatra dissolving the pearl. Prints of these portraits were eagerly purchased by her fans, establishing Kitty Fisher as one of the first pin-up glamour girls of her time. In a particularly infamous incident, on March 12, 1759, Kitty Fisher fell from her horse in St. James's Park, inadvertently revealing herself due to the absence of split-leg undergarments in that era. This incident led to a barrage of ridicule in the form of broadsheets, ballads, and prints that played on the pun of her being a fallen woman. However, Fisher was not one to be outdone, she quickly commissioned a portrait by Joshua Reynolds, thereby seizing public attention and turning the situation to her advantage. Kitty Fisher's fame extended beyond the borders of England and reached Europe, with the famous Italian lover Giacomo Cosanova crossing paths with her during a visit to London. Cosanova's account of their meeting includes tales of her extravagant jewelry and even a curious story of eating a banknote worth a thousand guineas on a slice of bread and butter, a present from Sir Aikens. However, the veracity of these accounts remains debatable. Her life also featured a notable rivalry with Maria Gunning, who eventually became Lady Coventry. Fisher's rumored affair with Lord Coventry kindled this rivalry, and their encounters were marked by snide remarks and disputes over social status. In 1766, Kitty Fisher married John Norris, a descendant of Admiral Sir John Norris. She moved to Hempstead, her husband's family estate, where she immersed herself in her new role as mistress of the estate and embraced philanthropy, especially towards the local community. Tragically, only four months into her marriage, Kitty Fisher passed away in 1767. The cause of her death remains uncertain, with speculations ranging from the effects of lead-based cosmetics to smallpox or tuberculosis. She was buried in Benenden churchyard, dressed in her finest ball gown. Kitty Fisher left an indelible mark on popular culture, even becoming the subject of the nursery rhyme Lucy Lockett. Music publisher Peter Thompson even dedicated a country dance to her name. During her lifetime, numerous books and articles claimed to recount her life story, though many were laden with spurious details that blurred the line between fact and fiction. Kitty Fisher was also a character in several 18th century novels, and she has made appearances in various forms in more recent media, such as Paulette Goddard's portrayal in the 1945 film Kitty, and a fictionalized version played by Kirsty McColl in the 1991 Channel 4 production Ghosts of Oxford Street. Kitty Fisher's story serves as a captivating window into the changing landscape of 18th century England, where the intersection of fame, fashion, and society was transforming the very nature of celebrity.